and welcome back to some more Let's Play Wallace and Gromit Fright of the Bumblebees. I can't exactly remember where we were at in the last part. Um, oh, we need to get Felicity out of the tree or something. Uh, why? I don't even... Mm. Okay. Um, and then there's a big, big, nice climax. Which is all nice and nice, nice. It's good. It's good. It's a, it's a. Mm, it's okay. And that should be the end of this, which is kind of joyous. Incidentally, uh, the not drone to uh, uh, the last part of this episode, episode five, I believe it is, probably be fairly quiet. So I do apologise for that. I would, uh, yeah, I didn't want to disturb people. But now I don't give a shit. So, woo! Oh, Constable Dibbins. Well, yes, like I said, he's very well trained. Right then. Goodbye, Constable. Good work, lad. Seems you took care of the downtown gang good and proper. But so long as they're still supersized, our job's only half done. I'd better get to work on a reverse growth formula. You've pacified all the bees, Gromit. Good lad. I knew I could count on you. Help! Wallace! Someone! That sounds like Miss Flit. Help! Get me down from here! Don't panic. I'm coming, Miss Flit. Oh, it seems I'm underdressed. Gracious! Hang on, Miss Flit! Ah! I save you! So that's the story, Miss Flit. I'm afraid my miracle growth formula led to some uh, super-sized problems. I hope you're going to get rid of the infernal stuff. Oh, I am. And rest assured, all the bees have been dealt with safely and humanely. Well, that's a relief. But weren't you scared, facing down an angry swarm of giant bees all by yourself? Frightened? Oh, well, I, uh... Well, I was heavily outnumbered, of course, but uh, they soon saw who was boss and that the uh, sting was on the other foot. I was terrified. That's only natural, Miss Flit. Uh, uh, well, I had a twinge or two myself at times, you know, but keep a cool head. That's my motto. Look your adversary square in the eye and never let yourself get carried away. Bye then. trying to turn me into royal jelly. The ingratitude. After I built her a hive in solid brass and the magnetronic pollinator thingamajig to take all the hard work out of honey making. Oh, I'm beginning to think I should never have mixed this growth formula at all. I ought to chuck it away. Hey, easy old girl. No need to get excited. Put me down gently and no one will get hurt. Oh dear, nothing in the beekeeper's manual about aerial abduction. Help! Help! Draw me! Better boy, I knew you'd come through. Get to the ladder, lad. And this is a series of different puzzles what include clicking on things at the right time. For example, what's in here? The winch. We'll need that. To make the ladder go high, like, we'll uh, activate the autopilot, which is um, very Wallace and Gromit esque. Oh, he's smooth. What are you waiting for, Gromit? Place the ladder! 
I had to get the winch, didn't I? Or am I thinking of this wrong? Um. Oh, maybe it's one of the buttons. Hang on, I'm, I may be slightly wrong. What does this one do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'll turn them off. I don't need them yet, but I'm sure I'll need them later. Get up! This is how you do it. You put the winch, or crank as they call it. There we go. Right, first of all... Oh, I know, oh, no, 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 I remember what that's for. Um, go back in. This is where the thing comes in handy. Obviously! You'd have to be an idiot to think otherwise. Um, climb up through the sunroof and grab the Feathermer. Just like that. Perfect. Yes, exactly. Well done, Gromit. Um... I can't think there's much else to do in there, so we'll climb over here. Lend me a hand, you got to tickle the. Who are you? Back on terra firma. Well done, Gromit. Gromit? Gromit! You alright, lad? Yeah! Oh, good show! We've made it through this little episode in one piece. More than I can say for the autopilot, I'm afraid. <laughs> the autopilot! Oh dear, looks like our troubles aren't quite over. Look out behind you, Grubby! Keep her at bay! I'll try and lose her in here! No, I... I think I remember what I've got to do. Oh, no, never mind. Ooh. I thought I had an idea. No, I guess not. Never mind. Um, oh, I'm Wallace. Okay. Turn on the radio. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is this, Radio 4? Fuck you, now. Hey! Um. Yeah, I. I think that's what you're supposed to do. I think. Because while she drifts off. Yeah, you whack her look. And then she come back. Oof. Take it! Take it! Look at that! I don't know, it, I might... Is this correct? Because right now I'm just doing the same thing and I get the same thing and it doesn't seem to be very effective. Hmm. Do I have to get a wings? No. Yeah, see, she just pops back up and pops back down. But if I hit her, that's all that happens. There's got to be more. I'm, I must be missing something. Um... Growth formula. Well, fuck you then! Alright, well, you're gonna get it to him. Use growth formula with the dashboard. No, yeah, me either. To be honest, that was uh, really stupid. Oh! Oh, yeah! I quite like the music, to be fair. Uh, it's quite, quite Wallace and Gromit-esque. Shut that. Come on, close the wind. Close the uh, hatch. Just... Oh, well, um... Still plenty of honey in the old tank. Right. So it was closed. Okay, good. There, close it. See, it wasn't too hard. Right, now, you give it the what for. And because we're in a tunnel... I know what, yes. This is it. Oh, 
Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, you like that. Or do I have to get it in a mouth? Well, evidently not, because I'm aiming for a mouth and it ain't... ain't effective. Um... As if we didn't have troubles enough, I'm missing my favourite radio programme. Are you? Seems to be there. On, right now. Unless this is the wrong one. Which is entirely possible. Okay. Okay, hang on. Uh, Wallace, uh, piss about with the radio a bit more. Ah. Okay. Never mind. I know. Yeah. Okay. Or much the opposite. She's got a laugh. Laugh. All right. I shot. There. I saw the whites of her eyes and I shot. There you go. Look. See. I worked it out. I'm smart. Horrific. She should. Yeah. Look at that. Poof, piece of piss. That's what they do best, isn't it? <laughs> of course. Well, there you go. That was Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures, Fright of the Bumblebees. I have no idea if I should do the other three episodes on the disc, but if you guys are interested in watching me play through them, uh, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Could not, I suppose. Um, Jared Emerson Johnson, he did well. That was good music. Of course, call me, just look at, I, I and, and know my sopranos from my tennis, altos, basses. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it was okay. I think it relied a bit too much on um, adventure game logic sometimes. But given that I'd already sort of played through it, I, I had a vague idea of what to do. I mean, I played through it ages and ages ago, but I had a vague idea. And if you try and think with a, with a sort of late 2000s adventure game mindset, you'll, 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 you'll get through. I mean, it's not like the newer Telltale games, like Walking Dead, which can pretty much re redesign the entire concept of um, the games, these adventure games. So it's... It's, eh, it's not bad. I don't actually think you can buy it anymore, actually, um, because Telltale have lost the right to sell Wallace and Gromit products as IP, I think. If I remember correctly, which um, there's probably a copy or two floating around on eBay. Uh, the discs are, I think they have n like no DRM. You can install them as many times as you want or need to, which is you know really good. Thanks, guys. That 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 boss hogging. Thank you. Um, that's it, I suppose. Not much else to say on this. Are you guys interested in watching the rest of the credits? We we've started. We're nearly done. I think. I presume, anyway. Uh, yeah, uh, there you go. There you go. Ben Whitehead was was Wallace in this game, and not the normal voice, which was Peter Salas. And you can tell because his voice was different, and hence the game is terrible in every way, shape, and form. Egerton Egerton Green... 
I am, okay. Well, sh sure, why not? Um, yeah, so, thank you for sticking with me for this significant part of Let's Play Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures. Uh, I am going to skip the credits. There's probably a, a video of them on YouTube. I don't even know why we stayed on them for so long. Um, thank you for joining me for this excitingly mediocre Let's Play of Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures, Fright of the Bumblebees. If you want to see me do more of the Wallace and Gromit Grand Adventures series, ask. If not, don't. That's how that works. And I'll see you in the next excitingly mediocre Let's Play that I choose to do. Thank you for sticking through while I've been playing Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures, Fright of the Bumblebees.